He's barely 25, yet Mark Robbins could already consider writing an autobiography. Ten years ago, he was the child star who lived the schoolboy dream. Manchester United came knocking at the door. England manager Bobby Robson nicknamed him Rummenigge because of his looks and technique. And not long after, the game had its first honours graduate from the FA School of Excellence. I was one of the first intake at, uh, in 1984 and then I went, so we stayed there two years, it was a good, good two years, it was enjoyable and uh, I went back to United then and stayed there and had uh, I think six or seven happy seasons there. Martin, Webb with the shot, oh and the keeper's fumbled it and what an introduction for the substitute, Robbins has scored within 30 seconds of coming on. In 1990, Robbins played a key role in Manchester United's FA Cup win. But two years later, the teenage pin-up had turned into a young man disillusioned enough to ask for a transfer and head for Norwich. Cynics said he'd started at the top and was working his way down. Everybody says, like, you, you leave United and, and it is, there's only one way to go. Um, but I didn't believe that because I was playing in the reserves. Um, it, was, it was only a way up for me and... Uh, I think I was pretty right going to Norwich. I think that uh, at this stage in his career he'd expected to be up there amongst the, the, the top uh, goal scorers in the top division given the start that he had in his career. Um, however, he's still a young man and he's still got a long way to go in his career and I think he has an opportunity to recover the lost ground that, uh, the, the ground that he has lost. Um, I think he can only do that by scoring a lot of goals in the first division next year and getting back into the Premier League. Robbins walked into Filbert Street as McGee's first million pound signing. Around about the time, Leicester were facing up to relegation. This is the first season he's played outside the top division, which is one reason Leicester and McGee are expecting a quick return on their money. Early ball in for Robbins, needed the touch, and he got it in there and he scored. It's 2-1 Leicester. Mark Robbins. Is there still the ambition in Mark Robbins that there was in those early days at Lillishaw? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, I mean, I want to play in the Premier League same as everybody else I want to play for England the same as anybody else I mean if you give up your goals then there's no point in playing in order for us to, to, to be promoted we have to score 80 goals now to score 80 goals someone has to get 25 and the most likely person at this football club for me is Matt Robbins on Saturday Robbins was alone at the sharp end of a diamond formation that had sparkled at Sunderland in the opening game the early signs in front of a hugely expectant crowd were promising but hugely misleading McGee encourages his team to play out of defence, but Julian Jochim over-elaborated. Nigel Gleghorn cut inside, and the other number nine, Paul Pesky Salido, was in the right place. Stoke were flying, and for the next half hour, Robbins barely got a touch. Every time the ball went forward, Pesky Salido caused a panic. He was too slippery for the Leicester defence, and for his own good. Leicester's standards didn't improve. Nine minutes later, another cross caused more problems than it deserved to. Gleghorn couldn't miss. And Stoke were three up in an astonishing half hour. Robbins still had several half chances, which might explain why Stoke and their Icelandic centre-half Lars Sigurdsson began to play it tough. They had to. Big Ewan Roberts came on alongside Robbins up front, and when Steve Walsh caught everyone out with a quick free kick, Stoke began to look worried. Walsh carried on the good work. Three minutes later, he went over. Leicester had themselves a penalty, which Gary Parker converted. But the grandstand finish never quite materialised. It was Mark Robbins' first taste of a Midlands derby. Crude at times, but always so committed. And there'll be plenty more where that came from in the months ahead. Got players who are going to kick you and beat, beat you, so uh, just get used to it after a while, and uh, you reward reward your fans, reward your team, and uh, show the defenders what you're made of by popping a couple of goals in. But well, you've got to be tough. Yeah, you've got to be tough. Um, you know, there's no room for sissies out there, really.